welcome back now in this video we will create a query in order to retrieve the data and show it right in here on the job screen so here we are we are on the job screen okay and right below this app bar we will have body and right in the body we will say string builder right in there you will say query snapshot and right in there we will say map and then we will say string comma dynamic there we go in here remove that comma and parenthesis right in here so now right in there it's going to take the string okay there we go in here we will say file base file store there we go dot instance we will create that instance okay and then we will say dot collection right to the collection of the jobs let me take this down from here so that you guys can see it easily so we create an instance as you guys can see right in here to the firebase fire store and right in the collection of a jobs because all of the jobs that we will upload it's going to be right inside the jobs and you guys already know for now we just uploaded one job it was according to the business manager if you guys remember so it's going to be right inside that job collection okay so that's why in here we say collection jobs and then we will say dot where okay so we're gonna type this down from here and we will say where the job category is equal to job category filter we will show that and right after we will also say dot where and in here we will say the requirement must be true so in here you will say is equal to true so it simply means that right in the collection of a jobs where the job category will be equal to the job category filter that we just implemented before right in the various videos and also we will want that where the requirement is equal to true only show that jobs and also you will say dot order by we're gonna say created at at which time is created we're gonna order by that so in here we will say created at and we're gonna set the descending to false all fine now right after your snapshot it's going to contain all of the data and scroll it down right after it's going to take the builder right in there it's going to take the contacts and then we will say asynchronous it didn't show the suggestion but we will write it anyways snapshot and snapshot there we go in here remove that comma and we're gonna take this down as you guys can see this builder can take the contacts and gonna take the asynchronous snapshot which will contain the data now in here we will set the if condition and we will say if the snapshot dot connection state if it's equal to the connection state dot waiting so if there will be any waiting right in the connection step of a snapshot then what we will do we will simply return right in the center we will say child I'm gonna show the circular progress indicator right in the center okay 
that's fine in here and in here semicolon add the const modifier all fine so in if we will do that and write outer in here else if we will say if snapshot dot connection stat if it's equal to the connection stat dot active what we will do when the connection stat will be active so in here we will say and also we will check that if the snapshot dot data okay dot docs the document and we will say is not empty is that equal to true okay in that case spell it down first it simply means that if the data dot docs document and if this is not empty and if it's equal to true only in that case we will return the list view okay dot builder it's going to take the item builder and now we will remove it we will edit just in a while so in here semicolon and take this down first we will provide the item count so we will say snapshot or you can simply we will write it manually anyways snapshot dot data okay dot docs dot length so with the total length we will have all the data as you guys can see right in here snapshot dot data okay now it is going to take the item builder as you guys know so in here build contacts we will provide that type contacts in here it's going to tag that and then we will create an integer type index with a specific index curly braces for retrieving data and write in there now it's time just to simply return the job widget the design that we just implemented before right in the previous video so in here we will say return and we will say job widget there we go okay in here semicolon now we will simply set right in there all of the data like for example the title description id uploaded by the we just created right in here let me just show you that okay job title description job id uploaded by so in here we will get that job title description job id right in this job widget we will get it and we will simply pass that data right to this job widget right in here we will receive it right in here and one by one right in here okay in this card that we just return in here first we will receive the user image and it's gonna show us for that right after it's gonna receive the job title and it's gonna show us for that and so on one by one so let's go back to the job screen dot dot let's get the data right in here so we will say job title the first one was job title okay so in here we will say job title and then we will say snapshot dot data and we are going to say dot document dot dots and with a specific index it will be and right after we will say right in here job title okay and guys just don't get confused in that I will tell you one more time how it will work so you guys remember we create an instance as you guys can see right in here to the firebase fire store right in the collection of a jobs okay where the job category will be equal to the job category filter and where the requirement will be true only in that case we will show that job okay and it's gonna order by created at with a specific time and here we just set the descending to false and then we say dot snapshot 
it's going to contain all of the data and then right in here if it's the connection start will be waiting then we show the circular progress indicator simple and right after if the connection start will be active and also we check in here if the snapshot dot data dot dogs is not empty if this data will be not empty and that's equal to true then in that case we will return that list view dot builder in which it will contain all of the detail okay as you guys can see right in here snapshot data dot docs dot length and write in the item builder as I explained before okay in here we just return the job widget and now it's right inside the collection of a job let's go and open the browser and open the firebase so here we are right in the firebase in here we are in the firestore database okay and right in the collection of a jobs with the specific document id as you guys can see right in here so if you guys notice right in here first we will get that job title okay which is record id business manager and right in the android studio let's go back in here as you guys can see we are getting that job title and we assign that job title right to this job title and if you guys press the control and left click on the mouse it will take you to the job widget design control and left click on the mouse there we go we are here on the job widget so we will receive that job title right in here and in here we will show it with the half of widget dot job title so we will show that job title right in here i hope you can get the idea now that's why i told you before it's a design that we just implemented before right in the previous video and right after we're gonna get the name first let me just do that right in here get in the job screen dot dot we are back now let's just get the job description okay and we will say let's copy it from here and in here past it we will just edit it okay snapshot data and in here null check document docs index and we're gonna say right in here job description and guys the name will be similar okay right in here and also in the firebase otherwise it will not work so look out for that all good that's fine now simply what we will do we will get the job id okay copy that from here and paste it right in here all of the thing will be similar and in here we will just say job id and right after we will get the uploaded by in here past it and we will edit this to the upload did by upload it by now let's get the user image paste it in here we will say user image and right after we will get the name paste it and here we will say name right after let's get the requirement okay so in here we will say requirement paste it in here we will say requirement and let's get the email paste it in here you will say email and the last one will be the location snapshot I'll just pass it and let's set it to the location so in here as you guys know we are just getting that data job description job id uploaded by user image name requirement email location and one by one for example that job description we get that from the firebase right from the collection of a jobs okay and we assign that to this job description and 
as I told you before if you press the control and then left click on the mouse it will get you to the job widget there we go okay so in here we will receive that and right in here we will use it right in here and with the help of that we will show that job description okay since it's a design and also you will get the name and show it right in here also the job title and the user image for now we just show that right in the design so we are getting all of the data from here and I hope you can get the idea now that's how it will work